I knew I wanted to do something that had to do with developing a technology that was important to me so that I would be motivated not just by science, which I find very easy to be engaged with, but um, also something that was personally meaningful to me. Whether you believe in climate change or not, whether you think we have 20 years, 50 years, 100 years before peak oil or not, there is certainly uh, a need for a better way to manage energy in this country. And one of the key aspects to that is batteries. What my research is really addressing is how do we get uh, batteries to store charge as effectively as a chemical fuel. One of the experiments I'm working on right now is trying to put uh, a battery material within an actual cell, cycle the cell, and at the same time take spectroscopy data so that when you put those two pictures together you get a really uh, complete and powerful description of what is going on in the material and what's going on in the solid electrolyte interface um, of the battery. Texas has a top tier chemistry uh, department, a top tier uh, chemical engineering department, a top tier mechanical engineering department. So there are people all around you doing really interesting problems and they're all at the top of their field. It just makes it really easy as a material scientist to come in and do really meaningful work and collaborations with people that are already established. You have continuous support from the moment you get on campus. They have the user facilities, they have the funding set up to try and support you right out of the get-go. They have um, the program structured in such a way to make resources available to you and that, I think that's critical for doing science and doing engineering that's not within a traditional discipline. You can have a lot of opportunities to succeed and you're going to have an institution that's completely behind you trying to get you to succeed.